We've come quite a long way from um, recording into the sound card, checking the levels, and recording onto the hard drive, then playing back the tracks, going through the channel mixer and the master mixer for the routing, and then going back through the sound card and monitoring the tunes or exporting the track as a file. Now when you record into Cubase, you need to be able to hear yourself in order to know what to play and when to play. I personally hear myself or monitor myself direct through the sound card, which is represented by the dark blue line here. So uh, in Cubase, I usually have the monitor settings switched to Global Disable, which are here, Options, Audio Setup, System, Global Disable. But you could also switch them onto Record Enable or Tape Type, which would represent the light blue line and the diagram, these lines here. So let's have a look at the monitoring. I'll set up my track and I want to record a guitar solo on top of what I've already recorded and we'll look at different ways of monitoring my solo. I have simplified the arrangement a little bit. Um, I could simplify it even more, get rid of the last bass part, delete this track here. Um, this is the track I want to record onto now, my guitar solo. This is the guitar. I go into Options, Audio Setup System, and the monitor is monitoring is for set to Global Disable, which means um, that you can hear the guitar straight through the um, sound card, directly through the sound card, without going through the VST engine first. And um, we can bring up the input levels. I choose any of the stereo tracks here. I'll just pick this one here and um, choose the recording source, the guitar, left, right. Okay, switch on the inputs, and now I can monitor the guitar going in, and um, notice that while I've got a signal here, this signal is not going through the um, master mixer as well, so it's just on the channel mixer showing me what the recording levels are. And I could now just press record and start the recording, I'll move the transport bar up here. Press record. Okay. See that the guitar that's playing in the background is going through the master mixer as well. Whereas my solo guitar isn't. There's no effect on my guitar. Here's the guitar, and I've monitored the guitar this time straight through the sound card, not using the VST side of things. The next way to monitor yourself is by using the um, the record enable setting, audio setup system, record enable type. So let's click on this one here. Let's see what happens. Let's just do OK, and. Um, I'll bring up the um, channel mixer again. There's our track, 11, 4, 11, 12. Now we've got a signal going into the system here, which we can see when we click on the in button, but we can't actually hear anything. That's because this track or this input isn't record enabled. So as soon as I press record enable, we can hear what we're doing. And now we can even adjust the volume of the monitored signal, but the input signal is still the same as it was before. Okay, so this is purely monitoring. The input level is there, input signal, 
is there, and I can now adjust the monitoring, and I can even pan the monitoring. Now, I'm not sure whether you can hear this, I've got a feeling that you've got a mono recording, but I can hear the monitored signal being panned to the left and to the right. So what I'll do now is I'll um, create a copy of this track, mute that one there, and I want to record on top of that one, so I'll delete this part. I'm try to play along to the track again. Now I notice that when I play along to my Rick, my um, track, the beat of the track, that my guitar is not quite as responsive as it was before. That wasn't too bad. The only thing with this recording now, I could feel the latency kicking in there. And I'll make this even more obvious by choosing a higher latency. On my system, I need to go into the control settings, hardware settings, and I'll increase the latency by using um, loads and loads of more samples for the buffer. I've got a little window that comes up and it says at 44.1. I'm using 48, so that's fairly close. I get latency of about 60 milliseconds. Let's just do it for now. And you can see the latency has gone up to 56 milliseconds, which is a lot longer than 16 milliseconds that we had before, which are al already quite long. So I'll press OK here, switch the track on, and you might be able to hear my guitar plucking through the mic and then you hear the guitar afterwards and I'll switch on the metronome and try to play along to the metronome two, three, four you can hear it can't you, I'm slightly behind the beat two, three, four that's a little bit better because I'm starting to compensate now two, three, four so it's not good to have a long latency if you want to monitor yourself through the VST engine. So I'll change the latency settings again, bring them down to what they were before, and then I'll show you what you can do with monitoring yourself through the VST engine. So I have reduced the latency down to 8 milliseconds by going into my control panel and reducing the amount of samples that I use for the DMA buffer, 384 in this case, um, I'll just close this one. I'll record enable the track. You can hear the guitar. I go to the left locator and press play. You can hear the metronome. One, two, three, four. And that's pretty good again, isn't it? Now Cubase gives you another option. Um, how to record yourself, how to monitor yourself through the system, and this is tape type. Tape type um, works when Cubase is stopped, as it is now, nothing's playing, nothing's recording. I can hear myself and while it's recording as well, so I'm going to just press play and hit record. So we can, you can, I can monitor myself, I can hear what I'm doing. I'm going to switch off the recording, let's just press play. And now the monitoring is switched off. This is useful if, you, um, if you've got a whole band in a different room, for example, and um, you've got like five people in, in, the, in the room and everybody's bashing away and they've recorded the tune. And then you, as the engineer, you rewind the track, go to the beginning of the song like this, and then you play the song back, but um, 
but you don't want to hear all the guys in the other room messing about and um, and tuning their instruments for the next take and things like that. So this is how um, this is how useful it is to use the um, the tape tape type monitoring setup. But if you're on your own and you're um, you're like a calm geezer and you can just turn the volume down on the guitar, for example, or you just stop singing, then it doesn't really matter which monitoring type you use. And record enable might just work for you as well. As soon as you hit on enable, you should be able to hear yourself, and um, and that's fine. So I'm gonna just go with record enable for now, and um, I can hear myself now. The track's playing away. I can still hear myself. Obviously, if I'm here in the track. uses the same channel as your guitar, the monitoring does. So if I switch the monitoring off, now you can hear the um, guitar play before, and now you can monitor my guitar, which I'm just 